going on guys? In this video, we are going to be working on the... <laughs> We're going to be working on the Batgirl cow. Do a spin. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comfortable. So Ed's a little shy today because we're all making Batgirl helmet and he is really iffy about wearing female costumes but I told him just chill it's just cosplay bro. So what I normally like to do is I like to take cardstock paper or poster board paper and tape it onto ED and then I'll draw out the shapes that I want and then I'll take some more cardstock paper and I'll fold it and I'll draw it and I'll cut it and I'll tape it and I'll fold it and I'll do it over and over until I finally get something I want. And yeah, this is actually easier than wasting craft foam or time because time is valuable. I'm taking more scrap cardstock paper and I'm doing some eyebrow thingy here because on the Arkham Knight Batgirl, she's got some eyebrow action. But I'm not necessarily making Arkham Knight Batgirl. I'm taking my spray adhesive and my high tech template maker and I'm sticking it on ED and I'm gonna cut out all those areas and then fill in those crevices and little spots there before I apply my high tech duct tape so I can get my high tech templates. And some of you guys are probably wondering what is my high tech template maker made out of? Well, here's a little secret it's made out of high grade grocery bags. You can probably get them for free. At the grocery store you just gotta buy something from them so i've already sketched out all my lines and where i think i should be cutting out just aiming to get the uh shape of batgirl on ed doesn't he look so cute as batgirl he's actually in the other room right now staring at me he's been doing it for like 30 minutes now because he knows i'm talking about him this is probably ed's least favorite part of the job is where i take my exacto knife and i start cutting into his face but it's his job. What else is he supposed to do? All right, so now I got all my high-tech templates cut out and I'm about to transfer them over to some cardstock paper. I'm using some spray adhesive to hold it down so that I can go in there and then retrace everything and cut it out with an X-Acto knife. And now I got all my patterns all nice and flat. I'm going to cut out both her eyes out and then I'm gonna transfer my templates over to some EVA craft foam which you can pick up at Hobby Lobby and if you're wondering I always use 5 millimeter craft foam for her eyes I'm cutting it out carefully in an angle because I know that it's going to join onto the other piece and it's gonna have to have that slight angle to it so here it is all my pieces is cut out and I'm ready to uh, apply some glue but before I do that I'm going to burn the center of her eyepiece so that way I can fold it over and then these pieces I'm going to burn the line right through that too so I can fold that so I don't have to cut in several pieces and glue them together. This will make things a lot easier. Well not by much but you know. So I've already applied my glue, everything is set and dry and ready to make contact. I'm going to start off by doing the top pieces. I'm using the surface of my table to make sure everything is nice and smooth and evenly applied. If you're wondering what that piece of paper is, it's a wax paper so glue don't stick to it. It makes working so much easier. I'm carefully applying the air pieces to the air piece, I guess the inner air piece to the outer side piece I guess I'm gonna repeat this on the other side this makes gluing the side pieces to the center piece a lot easier and then once I get all that in there of course you know we want to glue the ears down and then you can start to glue the top piece to the side piece it gets kind of tricky but you get the picture now I haven't quite glued the inner ear piece to the center of the helmet because I want to be able to make the adjustments later on after I get everything glued down. You want to make sure you get all your pieces on there before you glue on your ears because you can risk pointing one ear one direction and the other ear going the other direction. You can't fight crime with crooked ears in Gotham and then the Joker will make fun of you. You don't want that. So now I got my eyepiece attached to the center top piece and my side pieces and everything is starting to look kind of nifty but yeah so far so groovy 
Now that I've got everything attached and holding its shape pretty well, I can go in there and glue my ears down. And you want to make sure you glue them all in correctly or perfectly because you don't want no funky ears, you know what I'm saying? And the cool thing about working with craft foam is you'll have a little bit of play here and there. You can stretch and pull and, you know, kind of whatever and you won't totally warp the foam. Now, the eyes were looking kind of funny, so I wanted to make some more adjustments to the eyes. And I'm going to take my hot knife and I'm going to carefully make it bigger. And yeah, I'm starting to like this eyes a lot better than previously. Now that I'm pretty much done with all the cutting and gluing, it's time to sand everything down nice and smooth. And then when I'm done with all that sanding, I'm going to apply some heat so I can get it all nice and smooth. And while I'm heating it, I can look for areas that may need to be shrunk or stretched or whatever. I used some hot glue and I glued some elastic straps to the chin. This one was a little too big so I eventually swapped it off with a thinner chin strap because it was choking my wife. So yeah, I don't really want to be choking my wife. Not for cosplay bro. After she tried it on, it was a little bit loose, so I cut off a little bit of piece in the back here and I glued it down and it fit. So once all that was done, I applied a couple coat of Mod Podge and then I went back and hit it with some Plasti Dip. And you could probably skip the Mod Podge and go straight to Plasti Dip. But I actually like the finish I get when I use both Mod Podge and Plasti Dip. And once the Plasti Dip is dry, you get this really cool, nice matte finish. And I'm really digging it and I hope you're digging it too. You notice how the back is really high. That's so that her hair can flow with the wind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> is that comfortable? It's comfortable. I can like wear it? this all night. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Follow below. Comment below. Wait, below. <laughs> So if you guys like the video, hit the like button. If you guys know somebody who's working on a Batgirl outfit, then maybe share the video with them. Like me on Facebook and follow me on my Instagram. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel for more cool, awesome tutorials. Okay, we're going to be bringing back the top 10 showcase. We just haven't been able to uh, get around to doing it because of her scheduling. Schedule conflicts. Yeah. Sorry. We'll be back though. She she's she's been uh, protecting Gotham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll be bringing that back, and I got other cool bills. So you guys want to make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and make sure you check that notification button. Should we do a cosplay show soon? I think so. Yeah, that would be fine. Yeah, we should do a cosplay and chill. It's I don't know what I don't know what the theme is. I think I think what I'll do is I'll do a cosplay and chill, and what's inside my closet. Cause oh, I got about oh. 30 cosplays back there. Uh -uh. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy back there. Yeah, maybe I'll do a cosplay and chill and do a whole bunch of costume fitting. That'd be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. We've never done that. Everybody can wear a cosplay. Yeah. Toon. Costume. Yeah, it's cosplay. We can't, we can't <laughs> say costume. Okay, costume. Because costume is something you wear in Halloween. This is an all year round thing. This, this is life. <laughs> Alright, I'll see y'all later. <laughs>